Life is no less than a roller coaster for some people. They end up in situations and positions they would never have dreamed of. Something similar was destined for Melania Nas, a Yugoslavian model who never in her wildest dreams would have fathomed she was destined to become the first lady of the world's biggest superpower, the United States of America. What transpired to make it happen though? After all, an ordinary Slovenian mechanic's daughter marrying the most powerful man of America sounds nothing less than a wonderful stroke of luck. Some also insist Melania lured Donald Trump by her beauty only because she knew he was successful and an already established businessman. Gold digger they claim her to be. But we don't believe in making baseless allegations. Melania went through an entire journey, which ultimately led her to White House. More like a fairy tale, but sometimes they do come true. How about we rewind a few decades back and look onto Melania's life before she went to America. She did have a life before she became Mrs. Trump, and no matter how ordinary, the young Melania did have a mindset and an ambition of who she wanted to be. Let's get into the dramatic life full of turning points of Melania Trump and her journey toward becoming the first lady of America. Born to Victor and Amalia Nas in 1970, Melania lived with her beautiful small family in the railway town of Sevnica. She describes her childhood as wonderful and how keen her parents were about education, hard work, and family. Victor Nas was a car mechanic, and her mother, who had a passion for design, worked as a pattern maker at the Utrenka Clothes Factory. She would dress both her daughters Melania and Enos in immaculate clothes working tirelessly for hours just to satiate her love for design and fashion. The family did well for themselves and had a pretty decent life in Yugoslavia. At that time, Yugoslavia was a communist state, where things were rapidly changing and politically it wasn't the best time. Still, the Nas family had a good life, and their principles laid out clearly for both husband and wife and their two daughters. What was Melania like as a person? The people close to her have had thoughts to share. One of Melania's close friends and school fellow Petra Sede, who is currently working in marketing for a Slovenian traffic agency, describes her personality as a quiet person. Sede recalls Melania and all the pictures and on TV today, she's a very serious person, but she can also make jokes and be funny. A close look at Melania's life at a time when she was unknown to the world gives a lot of insight into her personality. She can be described as timid and quiet, but a girl with ambition and a dream to do something bigger than life itself. It was just about the right time she was going to have an encounter which would turn out to be a milestone in where she is today. One of the plot twists in Melania's story, shall we say. She was not known to any man before this incident. Melania Nas, now Melania Trump, was just 16 years old when the photographer Stani Yerko spotted her while she was leaving from a fashion show at Ljubljana City's Festival Hall in Yugoslavia. Now, when he describes her, he says she immediately caught his eye by the staircase entrance. Yerko stated that it looked as if she was waiting for someone. She was tall, slim, with long hair. I told her who I was, what I did, and why I would photograph her. Melania was a student and an inspiring model at that time. Even though that young girl was shy in her first meeting with the photographer, she quickly eased into the process and started asking questions while posing for the shoot. Yerka was very pleased with the pictures he had developed and called her back to shoot for the Slovenian magazine Model. She had the face and physique for Model and he had great hopes for her, just like she did. It was January 1987 and that is how it all began. Melania was a student aspiring to study architecture who had just run into what would change the course of her fate. Because destiny had its own plans. Melania was now posing for fashion magazines and doing photo shoots. She was committed to her dream of becoming a fashion model and even hired a photographer to put together a portfolio for her. Meanwhile, things had started to deteriorate politically and the Yugoslavian communist state started to implode in 1989. Later, Slovenia voted for independence in 1990. It was a time of political political turmoil and drama in the state. Anyway, so Melania had all the reasons to try her luck and move abroad. Her reason, however, was that she wanted to experience the fashion worlds of Italy and France as a model. The dream of making a mark in the world of fashion was growing on her evidently. As Central Europe made its jump from communism toward NATO and the EU, Melania grabbed the first opportunity and flew to Milan in 1992. She lived in Italy for some time, where she tried her luck as a model and then moved to New York in 1996. An 
amazing place she had heard of as a young girl. Little did she know her life was going to take a huge turn in just a couple of years. Not only was she going to realize her dream of becoming a successful model, her life was going to change entirely. And for the better, of course. An ordinary immigrant woman from Yugoslavia was on a journey to reach the highest political heights. But first, she was going to reach the heights of success as a fashion model at a time when Cindy Crawford, Kate Moss, and Naomi Campbell were some of the biggest names in the fashion industry. Melania got her first big break as a cigarette model promoting tobacco in 1997. Luckily, she was old enough to promote a cigarette brand as younger models were not allowed to endorse tobacco. In her professional life, unlike many other models, Melania was quite focused and serious about her work. People in the industry who had known her since her modeling days describe her as someone who was away from the nightlife scene, drugs, and clubs. However, Paolo Zampoli, an Italian-American New York-based businessman, made sure that Melania didn't remain a private person for too long. Zampoli introduced Melania to one of his business friends, Donald Trump, who had recently separated from his second wife. It was 1998 when they first met, and even though Trump later claimed he was there to see someone else, his mind changed when he first saw Melania. He completely forgot about the other lady and asked to be introduced to Melania instead. This is how the future president of the United States and his future wife had their first ever encounter. Both were oblivious to what the universe had in store for them. Regardless, they kept going. Donald Trump and Melania had started dating in 1998, shortly after they met, and she was there to support him in Trump's political career from the very beginning in 1999. Trump was already serious about his ambitions, and Melania also knew he was going to make a successful political career for himself whenever the times was right. The two got married in 2005, after a few years of dating. Donald Trump already had four kids from two previous marriages, but Melania wanted to have a baby and had their son Baron one year later, in 2006. It was around the same time Trump was accused of having affairs with Stormy Daniels, a pornographic actress and Playboy model, Karen McDougal. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. She had her fair share of challenges too. In the early 2010s, Trump really started to take off his political career, but Melania was still deemed insignificant by the majority because Trump himself was a controversial figure, regardless of his success as a businessman. By 2014, he was fixated by politics and there were only two people who really thought Donald Trump would be elected as a president if he ever ran for it, Melania and her father, Victor. And they were right. Donald Trump did end up getting elected as the 45th US president and served from 2017 to 2021. A Yugoslavian immigrant turned American citizen had more conviction in her husband's victory than he himself did. The tables had turned. Melania was now first lady of the United States and Donald Trump the president. Was the journey toward becoming the first lady worth it after all? Melania Trump had been a subject of mockery and criticism ever since she became the first lady of America. It could be jealousy or just the need to criticize, but the former first lady has weathered comments and remarks about her personality, appearance, her body language, and whatnot. Before we talk about her achievements as a first lady, let's go through how she was perceived by the public shortly after her husband was elected as the president of America. At Donald Trump's inauguration ceremony, Melania Trump was caught on tape apparently grimacing. The moment soon turned into a meme and a Twitter hashtag, Free Melania broke the internet, implying that Melania was a Trump's mercy and a captor to him who deserved pity and liberation from her conniving, manipulative husband. A series of narratives and assumptions regarding Melania's personal life and her relationship with her husband erupted. She was also accused of being fake for her mannequin-like demeanor during public appearances besides her husband. They also said that Melania had a body double, simply because of her oversized glasses that ended up covering a major portion of her face. The first lady didn't have it easy after all. She's also been criticized for being an immigrant herself, while well, people critiqued her husband's racist policies and remarks on many different occasions. As first lady, Melania did not move into the White House until June 2017 as she wanted her son Barron to finish school in New York. To her, her privacy meant more than getting to live in White House. So she took her time. Her achievements as the first lady also remained minimal. She hosted state dinners, accompanied her husband on foreign trips in areas affected by natural disasters. Disasters. Melania also harvested vegetables with children on the South Lawn in the White House much like her predecessor Michelle Obama. She spoke about drug addiction, especially opioid addiction, and cyberbullying during her tenure as the first lady. Her agenda mainly focused on the well-being of children and to ensure that addiction was a dire issue that needed to be tackled as a priority. Even though Melania was put to a lot of scrutiny regarding her personality and public demeanor by the American public as well as the world media, she still kept her composure. Her facial expressions, body language, and how she would respond to Donald Trump publicly, everything would be examined closely 
seriously and become part of the news. Despite all the drama, she's only the second first lady to be born outside the United States, the first being Louisa Adams. Her first language is not English. In fact, she has command over several languages including Italian, German, French, English, and Slovenian. These facts set her apart from all the other first ladies of the US and it is definitely an honor she will carry with herself till the very end. Not everyone who was born in a small town ends up in White House like Melania did. The lady did have luck on her side to be honest. A foreign model turned first lady wasn't something many Americans were expecting back in 2017 when Donald Trump took office as the president. Melania was called a gold digger for marrying Trump but if you look at her life journey, that seems more like an accusation like many others she had to bear. According to her biographer, when he asked Melania if she would have married Donald Trump had he not been rich, she shot back at him saying, if I weren't beautiful, do you think he'd be with me? Fair enough. The first lady definitely knew how to get back with appropriate responses. She was composed yet she never held back when she needed to say something she believed was worth saying out loud. As of today, it has been 28 years since Melania first stepped on American land. Her decision to move to New York was primarily motivated by her passion of becoming a fashion model. However, she unintentionally ended up making history by living one of America's most astonishing success stories. A Slovenian model in quest of chasing her dreams of making it big in the fashion industry who ended up in White House. It's a story worth telling. And Melania undoubtedly is the winner of this story. There aren't many people who make it this big, this far. Melania happens to be one. And that is why her story is worth sharing with the world. He married Trump when he was already a successful businessman. While she was a high-end model herself, there is nothing that suggests her motives as a gold digger because it took Donald Trump almost two decades after their meeting to become the president. She was as clueless about her future as anyone else. We would like to call it a wonderful stroke of luck. The true realization of the American dream. A dream that hoped for equal opportunities and harmony of all the races residing on the American land. Melania Trump's success story is one of its kind. She came from a modest Yugoslavian town and rose to fame as a fashion model. Then destiny brought her to New York, where oblivious to everything fate had in store for her, she kept working and ended up meeting her future husband, the then to be president of the United States, Donald Trump. A journey like hers is a dream for many. A dream she didn't dream, but ended up living. We are totally convinced of the higher power working in mysterious ways to bring people closer to their destinations. It's both awe-inspiring and hard to believe at the same time. If you found Melania Trump's story inspiring, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to tell us if you had the chance to achieve something dreamlike and seemingly impossible. What would it be? We're looking forward to your feedback and see you in the next video.